Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on our channel and this video is going to be again a great update coming from Cognizant. Yes, this video is going to be again a great hiring update coming from Cognizant and this hiring is also going to be a mass hiring. And finally, this hiring is coming for Cognizant that is for Cognizant Gen C, Gen C Next and Gen C Pro. These three roles hiring. So earlier we have discussed one Cognizant mass hiring of campus that have been announced for the Cognizant CIS role that is the engineer trainee role. And that particular hiring, every details, application process, everything about the role, everything we have covered in my last videos. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to check, you can go and check from there. But this uh, particular hiring is different. This is again a mass hiring, same coming from Cognizant. But this time this hiring is going to be uh, for Gen C, Gen C Pro and Gen C Next, these three roles. So let's discuss everything about this hiring and see. But before moving on, if you are new to the channel, make sure to click on the subscribe button. Join our telegram and whatsapp from the description box link and also make sure to click on the bell icon after subscribing because we post multiple hiring onboarding and interview updates every day regularly make sure not to miss out. So this particular hiring that have been announced from Cognizant is going to be for 2025 batch and this is going to be on campus hiring. Okay, unlike the previous one that was a off campus hiring for 2024 batch, this hiring is a on campus 2025 batch hiring but this is going for many colleges. So you can consider it as a mass hiring as well because many colleges are going to be eligible for this hiring and there is no point of giving you application link or anything because your college TPOs will be giving you this particular application link if your college is eligible or uh, if Cognizant is conducting this hiring in your college. So what is the step by step procedure of this particular hiring is going to be let me uh, discuss first process is going to be registration. Second is going to be a screening. After registration, there will be a screening, resume screening, and your eligibility criteria screening will be there. If uh, you are selected for next round, the next round will be communication round. That is uh, supposed to be happening in between 14 to 15 October. And after communication round, if you clear the communication round, you will be going for the next round. That is the aptitude round. So this is supposed to happen by 18th or 19th October, and then the if you clear that also, there will be technical assessment. So technical assessment is supposed to happen by 21st to 22 October. So all these rounds if you are clearing and going moving forward for the next round, the next rounds will be interview. And uh, the interviews are going to be happening after that the dates of interview are still not uh, declared yet. But it is going to be happening you can understand by uh, last of October uh, till the mid of November there will be interviews going on. For multiple colleges there will be multiple dates okay and uh, after that you the roles you have been selected for which role in, uh, you are going to get via cognizant is going to be decided and you are going to get your letter of intent so that's how the whole uh, procedure is going to be so that's it if you have any other queries regarding this make sure to comment down you can join our dedicated cognizant telegram groups and ask there as well